Today I hope to install some parts that just came in in the mail. Uh, I got this 10 millimeter offset sprocket from Fast From The Past and neutral switch o-ring that's just an axle nut and washer to replace this here rounded off one it's really bad it needs to be changed out recall from an earlier video I had a leak uh, at the neutral switch down there and I thought it went away because it kind of did go away I just tightened the screws but uh, clearly it didn't go away there's quite a bit of oil right there I just wheeled the bike out here outside so I could give it a nice lean uh, against the fence post here I I've never taken one of these neutral switch plastic doohickeys off of one of these while it's uh, well, when the transmission is full of oil I'm hoping that's enough of a lean to keep it from just gushing out. Actually, I don't even know if it will gush out. We're going to find out in a few minutes. I need to bend the little tab over. Alright, impact gun. There we go. Sure, I had Loctite on there also. This seal right here does not look rotted in the slightest bit. This engine's been sitting for a long time. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and get this wire disconnected. Set that back on there so I don't lose it. I have the new O-ring right here. Let's pull this guy off. They all have to have a crack. At least one crack right there is mine. Uh, medium strength blue Loctite. comes a little oil drip but not much. But this is definitely where the oil is coming from. The leak that is. Clean this out and make sure there's not something weird inside here. I don't see anything. It looks pretty clean. Shouldn't be. The engine's all rebuilt. Again the obligatory crack on this plastic part. Looks to me like the cross section on this uh, looks like silicone one is actually thicker, which is good. So I should get a much tighter seal. Tighted screws back in. That guy just clips on there. You don't have to take the screw all the way out. There's little tabs here also, right here and here, to hold this thing in place so it doesn't flop around. Shove that in there to soak up the oil. The 17 tooth replacing a 17 tooth, but it's a 10 millimeter offset. It's a little difference, huh? Nice. Hang on a second. It's not going on far enough to for this. 
lock washer to engage my I have a problem here. I used this same exact thing on my Thrasher bike and it worked fine. Yeah, I need this little lip here to engage this guy. This ain't gonna cut it. Damn it. There's nothing there, it's thick. Alright, to go measure. Okay, let's see what the difference is. Five point six three millimeters. Six point four eight millimeters. Close to a millimeter thicker. This maybe there's a second op they do to machine this surface down here. I don't know. Or I don't think they would machine the inside here. Where's the washer? I bet it's about a millimeter. Washer is 0.84. So yeah, uh, this surface, this surface right here, definitely needs to be machined down. You might even be able to see the difference. Darn it. That's not what I wanted to have happen today. I'm going to temporarily put this on so I can at least do some uh, final measurements on the chain alignment. And I can get the rear hub out of that rear wheel and give it to my bro, Julian, to machine down. Okay, I take it back. It is thicker. There's a lot of play here, so if I pull this up, now I can get the locking tab on there. That's good. Good news. Yeah, it's sitting on there just right. Just doing cupped up temporarily again. Forward. Ruby, what are you barking at, Ruby? Snug this thing up. The tricky thing with these offset sprockets is getting this washer bent up. I should have started it, put a little bend on it before I uh, put the thing on here. I need to get a little bend on here so I can get the chisel or something under there to bend the tab or the washer up onto the nut. But to do that, I kind of need to mark this, don't I? That has to be done because I took the clamp off. This should get me close. Take it back off. Put a bend here, a little bend here, and a little bend here. Shall we try again? I've got a little bend on this washer now. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of a lip there I should be able to get. I hope I can get. I've done it before. Sure, I can do it again. I have to take this off one last time, I hope, because I need to get more of a bend on the washer. Okay, I put more of a bend on the washer. Hopefully it'll work this time. I think I'm just going to have to pry it up with a screwdriver. Just need to get it started. There we go. 
have another magic tool that might flatten that thing, get in there better and flatten it out. Okay, good to go. That's a bit of effort. There must be a better way to do that with these offset sprockets. A better magic tool than I used. We're making some progress. The bike is back up on the lift. I have my chain alignment rig set up and it says that I need to shave off of this sprocket carrier this much. Uh, the outer edge of this sprocket right here should be flush with that so I'll get my caliper out, measure that and then take the rear wheel off the studs out of the carrier and hand it off to Julian to machine it down. Also, I'll just keep an eye on this guy and make sure I don't uh, develop an oil leak here again. That was an easy fix. I'm pretty sure that did fix it. I need to order new nuts. These things are kind of rounded off. I cleaned them up a little bit. to cut all these to make them fit. Oh, all these studs need to be pulled out. This was interesting. I had to cut these studs so that they wouldn't contact the swing arm. And I do need to pull them out so Julian can machine this thing down. I wish I would have done it way back when, but I didn't. And I don't have, these are the only nuts I have, I believe these are fine thread, metric fine thread. So uh, I di didn't know if I was going to be able to get enough threads on here to double nut this to take these studs out. But looks like there's just enough. Well, there is. I just did one. Let me see if this one comes out as easy as the last one did. Only well, goes on about one turn. And there it goes. Comes right out. No big deal. And then, I have to get that nut off. So I'm able to Grab this guy, just enough. There we go. It's all working out. So, I'll repeat that three more times. Package this carrier up for my friend Julian. Hopefully he'll be able to make time to machine this thing down I wrote it down, 4.3 millimeters, and I should have perfect chain alignment after that. Mission accomplished, pulling the studs out of the sprocket carrier, and when this all goes back together, a nice shiny new axle, bolt, nut, and washer. Probably can't tell, but that nut right there is just really chewed up bad. Grotesque.